I'm Danielle, and I'm going to be making a thing. This is a, I guess we haven't really named the name of this stream other than like making a thing with Danielle, but I, that's fine with me. I, I'm cool with that. It's a good name. It's a very descriptive name. So we did this for like seven-ish minutes last Friday, and then unfortunately we had technical difficulties, which is very sad, uh, because Dora the Lesbian Frog had just barely, you know, jumped off of her first lily pad into the wider world here. Uh, but we're going to continue with the, uh, the game we're making before. Uh, the premise of this beautiful stream is exactly what I said earlier. It's making a thing. We're going to make a thing. We're going to do it together. You and me and, like, I don't know, 300 of your best friends. 300 might be a little ambitious, but whatever. Your best friends. We're, we're friends here, and we're going to make a cool little game. I'm using Pico 8, which is deliberately a tool I don't know very well. Uh, most of the little tiny things I've made, I've made in Unity. Uh, I've touched Twine a little bit. I've touched a lot of like Twine-adjacent things that go into Unity and like made little things in there. Uh, but part of the fun of this stream is going to be like figuring out how everything works. And Pico 8 is just a really cool little tool. Are you listening? Austin's watching me. He's trying to get chat, and he, he's watching me in two, in two places here. It's very exciting. So I called for, like, you know, suggestions, almost improv style. Like, oh, who has a cool thing? I heard a lot of skeletons. I heard a lot of lesbians. I heard a lot of frogs. I heard a lot of ghosts, I think. And, like, lesbian frog just spoke to me. So that's how we started off. Uh, and we're really early on here. Like, we just, we just barely have Dora, and uh, she's a lesbian frog. We established uh, that her actual last name is the Lesbian Frog. Uh, so her name's Dora the Lesbian Frog, and uh, she is indeed a lesbian frog. I think we established that she's like a construction worker, or maybe she's a miner or something. I forget exactly what it was. We might retcon that a little bit, because, you know, who knows. Uh, and this is all the code we wrote. I had a great joke, and I'm so disappointed that uh, it got eaten by the stream, but I had a great joke about in it, because that's what you say for British. It's like, yeah, in it. Uh, that's good shit, you know what I'm saying? All right, so all we did was write our, like, init function, it's, like, initialized, uh, to just sort of write the player character, which is, of course, Dora's face. Uh, and then, yeah, I just sort of wrote the, the core, uh, like, this, there's an update function. Some stuff's going to go in here, so we actually have interaction in our game. And then the draw function, just so we have something. And all that says is clear screen and then sprite one, and that's the only sprite we have. So that's all we got through last time. We're going to get... We're going to get really far this time. All right, don't hold me to that. We're going to do something. And we're going to make magic happen. I have the chat on my uh, on my phone here so I can see some cool uh, interactions with you all. I, uh, I'm going to ask for, like, suggestions all the time because we're going to have fun together and, like, do this together. Uh, someday in life, like, maybe we'll even be like, oh, hey, write me, you know, draw me a cool thing. And who knows? We'll see. Um, I was thinking about Dora a lot, and I was thinking, is she, like, this kind of frog? Is this the kind of frog she is? Or is she more, like, purple lipstick? Like, is that what's... Actually, that looks a little bit like she might have a lip fungus. Uh, so let's go back to, to maybe the more lipstick -y. Yeah, okay. I would say Dora, like, is somewhat on the femme side, but, like, you know, she feels all kinds of things at all, all different times in her life. Some days she feels a little more butch, some days she feels a little more femme, and good for her. So... I was just making Dora look a little more. I guess my I thought my notifications were off. I sure I sure turned them off, but that sounded like Discord. Hmm. Well, who knows? You might be seeing secrets about my life. Was that Facebook? I thought my whole computer was on Do Not Disturb mode. That's okay. I'm sorry. Well, anyway, uh, maybe it was a message for Dora. Let's like let's think about that. All right. <laughs> That was an affirmative. That Dora's is definitely... Hit. Dora is getting some stuff is happening to Dora right now. So I have like a little cheat sheet of some code stuff. And I want to thank YouTube user Uncle Matt, uh, who has these really great little, very simple Pico 8 tutorials. Um, and so that they're nice and easy to follow. So the first thing we're going to do, other than, you know, making Dora look even more luscious uh, than she already is. She's a luscious frog. Luscious lesbian frog. Um... We're going to come up with, like, a story and, like, some, some other stuff because uh, we're going to draw, like, a background to this scene as well. But first, let's get her moving. She's a woman on the move. And uh, see? She really appreciates that. She really. Um, yeah. That, that's, a, that's a good thing. All right. We're going to do a thing right here. Ready, friends? All right. Cool. So uh, apparently my notifications were not for Doro, uh, which I can't believe it. 
Okay, bud. Tab me over. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So uh, I'm going to just like close any Facebook windows I have. And also my colleagues are in here with me, and I don't know where I have a Facebook window open. So, uh, you know, this is cool. This is uh, how you do things. This is, this is how you uh, do things on a stream. A big part of game dev is having your YouTube window. Oh, here it is. All right. Now they're gone, and hopefully that means nothing's going to happen. Again, forever. Yeah? We're good? Technical difficulties, folks. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Dora won't be getting any more phone calls, at least for the time being. So the next thing I wanted to do uh, in general is get her on the move. So this is a little bit of code uh, that just basically says, if you hold the button down, move in this direction. So here we go. We're going to put that in. I do wish I had that song from the... Uh, beginning of the stream that do, 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 because that's a lot like what's going to happen here. It's going to be real nice, uh, really appropriate. So it's cool. Pico 8 has this whole like sort of unified function that like, oh, the whole idea is that you're in this like really old computer. And so you have these constraints. So everything you make has to be small. It doesn't have to be small, but it like works in your favor to make things small. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to do a bunch of if then statements, which uh, are fun and great and good, and a lot of the scripting I've learned is a lot of if-then statements, which is nice. And all if-then statements kind of look like this. If this thing, then this thing. And then you hit end, which is cool. It's nice. It's nice and simple. It's like if life were simple, it would look like this, I guess. OK, so and inside here, there's going to be another condition. So I think it's button 0. This is going to correspond, just so you know with those cool arrow keys on the keyboard. Um, and if not, we have a problem. <laughs> so let's try this. If button, oh wait, it's just but. No, I just wrote but. If but. You know, some days you got to say if but. BTN is the button key right here. If button, if but zero. Then we're going to deal with player's x and y value. So let's start with x, I guess. So player x. That's like going this way as opposed to going this way. Pretty nice. Um, you know, I actually almost failed geometry uh, in my sophomore year in high school. In fact, I might have. No, I failed algebra too. <laughs> That's what I failed. Uh, and then I learned later in life that like, hey, actually, uh, you can do scripting without actually knowing a lot of math. You just have to kind of figure out logic, which made me happy. All right, player x minus equals. Oops. That's not equals. So minus equals uh, basically is telling if it's, sorry, I forgot exactly what that symbol means, but don't worry about it. It's fine. OK, one basically means if you press the button, this if statement, if button zero, if you press that one button, then the player x is going to go down one. That's what it means. It's, it's like an abbreviation in, for like minus one plus one with a something something. Don't worry about it. We're doing great. Then we're going to do. Uh, how to actually, so that's how to go left, basically. One button press will be minus one on the x-axis. So now we're going to do plus one, so we can go right. You can go left, you can go right, you can go uh, gaily forward, but you can't go straight. Not with your Dora the lesbian frog. All right, cool. So another if statement. So if this junk, then this junk, and then end. Cool. Uh, how's everybody doing in the comments? I guess I should keep looking at those. Algebra 2, what grade did you get in Algebra 1? Uh, I got like a 90, but I had a much better teacher for that. Uh, she was a lot nicer to me. She went to University of New Hampshire and was trying to get me to go there. There's a lot going on in my life. All right, if, and then there's like a nested statement here. So this one is uh, button 1 instead of button 0. A lot of things uh, with scripting go like your first number is zero it's not one so that can trip people up sometimes <clears throat> i suppose i'm doing this in such a way that like you could follow along if you really wanted to or you could just have fun with me you can just chill it's friday afternoon it's a long weekend you can just hang out get your beer ready or whatever drink you drink ah uh, yeah exactly dora is not the biggest fan of beer but uh she really loves red wine she is a red wine chick you know she just really is Okay, this one's button one. Again, not but. I keep wanting to write but, you know? We all have our thing. If button one, then player x is going to be plus equal 
one. And then there's our end statement, so that should actually work. And now we've done the x value, which, you know, I'm just going to say that Dora the Lesbian Frog, bigger fan of x than y. Um, just That's just how it is. That's just how it came to be. She doesn't, like, hate y as a letter or a chromosome, but it's, you know, whatever, you know? It's just like x. You know, x is fine. X's are fine, y's are fine, everything's fine. All right, so this one is if button 2. We're up to 2 now. If this junk, then this junk, and then end. So here we go. How's chat doing? Indenting the loops and bodies and conditionals. Yeah, I totally agree. Is Dora a normie, if that's a thing? Eh, not really. You know, she, she enjoys all sorts of alternative culture. Um, she's really into, uh, like, cosplay. And uh, not that that's like alternative culture, but it's just a thing she enjoys. She's a nerd. She's a big nerd. Okay. Button, not but. Two. And then player Y. I suppose I could be indenting these, huh? I could indent these. Because we're in update. Might as well. Why don't we have nice clean code? There we go. Do, do. We're nesting it. We're making it look nice. And why not just put that in a little bit? Sometimes you want your code to look, uh, you know, beautiful. I guess I'll indent the ends too. Sometimes you like pretty code, and that's how you live your life. Just one indent, a bunch of indents, and a bunch of indents. And we'll leave that last end way on the end there. Oh, okay. If she's into cosplay, we better have costumes in the game. Good point. That's going to be definitely something she does. Maybe she's, like, going to a costume store. Maybe that's, like, the framework that she's doing here. And, like, maybe her girlfriend, like, works at the costume store, and she's, like, going, and she's, like, hey, babe, I really want to do, um, I don't know, uh, Mario cosplay, and, like, we'll need to make a Mario outfit. Um, or Wario, or maybe Big Boy. Maybe she wants to cosplay as Big Boy, and maybe we can figure that out. I like that idea. Okay, cool. All right, so player Y, this is how to go down. So minus one each time on the Y axis. I said axis instead of axis. And uh, oops, minus equals one. And we got an N there. And then our last one for this anyway, it's gonna be another if, this junk, then this junk, and then an end. <clears throat> so. And an extra conditional in there. And this is going to be button three. And then I can put this away for a little while, which is cool. Okay. Button three. Whoop. Did it again. I did it again. Okay. We're in here. Three. Then. All right. Player Y is going to be plus equals one. And then we already ended it. Okay, cool. Cool and good. Uh, saved. Uh, by the way, you know the name of the file is actually Dora the Lesbian Frog. So just so you know. It's cool. It's good stuff. All right, we've got our sprite. Uh, she's looking great. We've got our code. All right, I guess we're ready to, to take a look how, uh, what it looks like. All right, uh, so I think I need to say run Dora. Oops, that's door. That's not the game we're making. The Lesbian Frog. Cool. And she's not moving when I'm hitting the things. All right. That means something is wrong. And uh, that's OK, because let's take a look at our code. What might be wrong here? Hmm. Do we, need, we might need to draw something as an update. Function update if player one. Hmm. Hmm. Clear screen sprite one. You, oh, you know what it might be? We might not have Dora, the lesbian frog, actually set up to be that first sprite. In fact, I think that might be what's happening. All right. Did you update the sprite position? Mm, I did not. So in order to do that, I'm going to ask chat. How does one do that? Because I think that's the only thing we're missing. 
going to have to be like player one equals sprite. Hmm, player X, player Y. Oh, it's got to be in the in it, right? Hmm. She's there in infinite space. All right. Well, while I ask chat for that particular function, we can also make something like sound effects. And then we're going to also write a cool. <laughs> so that sounds like something. We don't have any collisions yet. But that sounds a bit like a collision. And we could also begin to draw our background. I think that's what this is. This is the map tile, I believe. All right. Dora definitely needs a girlfriend. Now, while, while I think about the code, I think it's important for us to all understand. Oh, wait. When you call Sprite, you can provide the X and Y position as parameters. That might work. All right, here you go. Ready? All right, so we're going to call the Sprite. So we're like in here, draw Sprite 1. And I bet there's an X and a Y. And we could say player X and player Y. I bet that's going to work. Yeah. Let's try that. Player X, player Y. That might not be the right place to put those parameters. Hmm. Her girlfriend's a play. One player X. Her girlfriend is a fly, maybe, and the girlfriend should be called Rosa. All right, well, let's see if this makes sense. Let's see if this actually works. We can try it. Um, run Dora the lesbian frog. Oh my god, hallelujah! Thank you, friends in chat. You were totally right. Now look at this. We have a game. We did it. We can go home now. We have a thing <laughs> that we can interact with. It's a game. Uh, but frogs eat. Oh, yeah. You can just type run. Look at this. Look, she can go up. She can go down. She can go left. She can go right. She can dance all night. She's Dora, the lesbian frog. I'm so excited. I was so worried there for a second, friends, because I was like, I think this looks like the right conditional, but I'm not really sure if it'll work. And then it didn't like turn blue or anything. So, you know, in my, in my line of work, when things turn blue, that's how you know. Oh, she, there's no bounds. See, check this out. She, she wants to go incognito. She just goes incognito. And then she can come back. She's like, hey, what's up? Oh no, I want off stage. No, I want to be back on the stage. No, I'm off the stage. Now I'm back. Now I'm back. Now she's back. She's alive. She's here. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I can't wait to see the tool assisted run either. Sam rules, that's true. All right, so we do have uh, a character who is now moving properly on the screen. I feel like getting a celebratory beer. Uh, and then we're back. Okay, we're back to our code. So we have a number of things we can do at this point. We can draw her girlfriend. Uh, we can bring her girlfriend into the world. Pretty cool too, I think, actually. Um, and we can also build like a little world for her to interact with. I think it might be cool to, uh, to let's bring our girlfriend at the world first. Um, all right, so the, here's where I'm gonna ask you for a suggestion. What species is Dora's girlfriend? I mean, I know somebody said a fly in here at one point. Um, we can try that, but uh, that feels a little bit like a little too on the nose, you know what I mean? Like. No, no, uh, a mouse. Okay, we got a mouse, peach, she's a fly for sure, salamander, moose, toad. Okay, all right, we got toads and frogs and mooses and salamanders. Moose, it's not mooses, it's just moose. It's one of those weird ones where the plural is the same as the same word. Or a hedgehog, a fish. Now, keep in mind, friends, uh, I am the world's shittiest artist, and we have, like, uh, what, 64, 64 by 64 pixels here. So it's going to be an approximation of something. A cute bird, toes, robin, meese. All right, I'm not, Lizzie the lizard, I like bird a lot. Oxen, oh boy. Uh, plumber, a pl is a plumber a species? Could be, I guess, you know, a little round birdie. I'm seeing a few birds, I'm seeing a few birds. A slime, toad or salamander. All right, let's, uh, let's take a look. What if she's a snake? 
How about that? Uh, she's a snake with lipstick. And hold on. Let's give her a little bit more definition. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, nice blue bird. No, there's a lot of birds. I don't want to like, what, axital? What's an ax? I don't know what that is. All right, let's try a bird. Let's try a bird. Okay. All right, here's a bird. Face bird. This looks a little bit more like a dinosaur than a bird. Hmm. It's like a bird like this. It's like bird feet, I guess. That's an axolotl. It's really cute. We can try that. I might uh, not be good at making it look re right. I'm so excited. All right, I think that was more of like this, this color, like this like carnation pink kind of thing. Um, okay. Okay, well, I guess it's like a cream color and then with like, like pink, pink tendrils. Pink tendrils. Yeah, yeah. All right, we got, we can Six do this. Pink Six right pink tendrils. Okay, we got Axolotl. Axolotl. Did axolotls recently axolotl. become axolotl? axolotl. 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 I have no idea. Axolotl. You know, we all, all right, that's something. And we'll, we'll give her a face too, but we got, I don't know if we can get six, but we can try. We'll try. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the like the short end, uh -huh. and then. Oops. No, that's not the right. That's not the right place. Well. <laughs> oh right. So ear mm -hmm. I think you're right. You're right. All right. Um. Here we go. That's not really right either. Yeah, let's 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 fuck with this a little bit. Here we go. But like here? Yeah. Like here. That's too many. Oh my gosh. Oh, I see. It was almost a seven pronged. Actual All right, and it had like a little like mouth and nose too, a little bit, right? Yeah, please, please. Oh, that's so. It has really cute blue eyes and a little mouth. I don't know if I can make the eyes small enough, but. <laughs> that's, that's that's the person with pink hair. You gotta get the wide. You gotta cut the chin. Get rid of the, the chin. <laughs> oh, sorry. I have the wrong color selected. Round the chin off a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Well, that's not it. Maybe now his teeth. You have weird fangs. Yeah. Even that. Maybe this. Maybe this. Maybe that. Yeah. yeah is that axolotl? And her name is Axel Rosa. Perfect. Perfect. It's Axel Rosa the Axolotl. Very good stuff. Okay. Good. Good. Um, so she's. Does she have a mouth? She, um, oh, good point. Does she have a mouth? Also, she's looking a little. Okay, she's fine. She's fine. Um, yeah, right here. There's her mouth. Mm -hmm. You know, we're working with limitations here. The main limitation being me. I'm the limitation in this case. But Axel Rosa. Uh, she's Dora the Lesbian Frog's girlfriend. Uh, she's really nice. Uh, she's a really cool person. Uh, she works at the costume store, as we were saying. So, cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's definitely, let's, let's draw her in here. Uh, and so we can say, uh, so she's Sprite 2, I believe, 2. And then we can give her, like, specific coordinates. Like, we want her to be at, like, I don't know. Let's try 6464 and uh, see where it puts us. And uh, puts us. Puts her. Puts Axel Rosa. Axel Rosa, the something to cuddle but hates to coddle. I like that. That's nice. That's good. Um, cool. I don't think I need to end anything else because that's just in the draw function. So awesome. <sighs> good. I'm feeling good about this. Okay. So we escape to do here and then we say run. Oh, she's in the same place. Oh my God, we were on the same sprite. You see that? They were cuddling at the very beginning, but now uh, we can like do a little dance. We can be like, okay, we're definitely in the club together. We're at Henrietta Hudson and uh, we're dancing, doing a little dance. That's nice, that's really nice. Um, but this still looks like a void and not like a costume store, right? So 
Um, I'm glad we've got two characters in here. Really, some, some beautiful character art. Uh, really should uh, submit this to the IGDA uh, for consideration. Uh, but don't worry. Uh, I think I'm pretty happy with her here. But let's um, player X, player Y. Right, we uh, initialize that to 64, 64. So let's put it like 60, 60 or something, you know. 60, 60. So we're not in the same place because, you know, that's weird. There we go. Now they now they're like next to each other. Yeah, run. Sorry. Now they're well, she's like on top of her frond there a little bit. Okay, that's all right. That's cool. Um, I think we should draw a costume store, and then we maybe we could put like a couple of costumes in there, like decorate this a little bit, um, make it look like a costume store. Make it have a little bit of life to it. Make it have a little bit of character to it. You know, I mean, what's a costume store without character? A crappy costume store, right? All right, so to do this, we're gonna do something I've never done before in Pico 8, which is you know similar to most of the things I've done in Pico 8, which is look at the map editor. Uh, so this buddy right here is a map editor. And I think what I wanna do is make like a brick texture, like a wall texture, something like a texture, uh, and kind of like, oh wow, I can make a texture of the girlfriend. We can make the whole thing just look like Axel Rosa, look at that, isn't that nice? Wouldn't you love to go to a store that's just your partner's face? Would you not? Oh, okay. All right, well, this stamps, yeah, I'll get rid of that, because that's, that's a little awkward. Like, if I was to open a store and it just had my face everywhere, I feel like that could get weird for everybody who's not me. So let's go to the pixel art editor, and let's make something that looks like a wall. Um, okay, like a brick, like a wall unit or something, basically like a texture. I'm thinking uh, this is like a really cool and exciting store, so it's gonna have like a, a nice like purple brick to it. Um, oh shit, what, what's going on here? That's, that's too much. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I see. <laughs> I had the wrong thing selected. Sometimes I do that. All right, uh, so let's say here, to here, to here looks like this, and then this other side is like a pink kind of color, and then back to the purple. So hopefully that looks brickish when we actually put it all together. It might look like absolute crap, and I'm fine with that. That's the other thing for today and for like these little gamey things that I'm doing. It might look like crap. Like, it's okay, let's be honest about it. Uh, but we can make cool things and have fun with it, and I enjoy that. All right, so, now we're in the map editor. Huh, that doesn't look quite right, does it? Well, actually, it kind of does. It almost looks like curtains more than it looks like a store, I guess. Uh, but, like, let's do a little, like, oh yeah, this is like, you know, a cool wall right here, and then let's have a place we can kind of get in. And then, uh, there it is. Ooh, beautiful store. This is the kind of place I definitely want to go shopping. All right, cool. So we made this uh, beautiful monstrosity. And now, we're gonna actually write it in. I have some cheat sheet stuff here too. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Oh, here it is. We're gonna make a new function. We're gonna make a brand new function. We're gonna put it in the update function, I think. Probably, or maybe we're gonna, yeah, all right, we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure this out, don't worry. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, we're gonna make a function. It's not an in update, uh, so outside of update, probably after update, because update's really important, maybe before the draw function, because uh, it's gonna go in the draw function. Like, we're gonna call that function in the draw function. No mistakes, just happy accidents. That's right, a little woof. That's exactly how I approach life. And game development, I suppose. Um, <laughs> look, Dora just loves her a lot. I like that. All right, cool. So we're gonna make this new function. I'm gonna call it uh, function. That's how you make a new function. And it's gonna be like draw bg, I guess. Uh, I know there needs to be an underscore here. Draw bg. And then of course we need our parentheses uh, and then our end. And that's how you know it's a real thing. Cool, so these I have taken again 
Uh, I'm using a lot of tutorials, and again, Uncle Matt on YouTube has some really good tutorial series on doing this stuff. So first things first, I'm gonna do like a background color so it doesn't just look like a black void. Now, maybe she has just like crushed velvet all over, you know, the back of the, the store or whatever, but let's say she doesn't. So, <clears throat> rect fill. I think that's, yeah, okay, that's the right thing. And then we put in where and how we're gonna do this basically. So, hmm. Uh, I guess we'll start from the very, very top, which is zero, zero. Um, I always forget if it wants like extra space in there, so let's give it the extra space. Zero, zero, so that means the top left corner is where we're gonna start from. Um, zero, zero, and then 128, 128 should be the whole screen, which is cool. And then we pick a color, which, let's pick a color. All right, so you see how these all have like color right down here, it says color, 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 pink and blue. Then we look nice with our sort of like pink and purple assortment here. And also like, frankly, we can also make this look a little better while we're at it. Maybe it's just like, yeah, like a little, little shine. And then it shines a little bit right here. Yeah, we can do that. Look at this art that's happening. We're making art today, we're making beautiful art. Like the most beautiful art. All right, cool. I'm happy with that. Uh, cool, so for color, it's a vibrant and exciting store, right? It's like a sky blue, but it's also vibrant and exciting. Or, although this might look nice, let's try it with this. Uh, that's color 13, okay. So let's try it with color 13 here. And, end is in there. Oops, 13. Uh, I'm gonna save that and I'm gonna go see what it looks like. So run. What, it didn't draw the background. Oh, you know why? <laughs> Cause we didn't tell it to draw the background. Sometimes this is gonna happen. Uh, so function, right, right, right. We need to actually like call that in the draw function. So I think it's in, maybe we put it first and maybe we get rid of the clear screen. I'm actually not sure. We might wanna get rid of the clear screen. Uh, and then, <clears throat> We're gonna call draw BG. All right, let's see if this works. Hopefully this works. And then run. Whoops. This is a syntax error. Oh. Uh, whoops. Now let's see if it works. Yay, it worked. Well, this beautiful background that we have now. This is sort of like baby lavender kind of color. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that looks nice. Doesn't this look like a nice like location? Like when you're talking about opening your own costume store, you wanna definitely have the right location. And I think the right location here is uh, lavender blue. So cool. All right, now we can actually uh, draw those awesome tiles in. Uh, so, for that, we're gonna use this sort of like map function. Um, I think map is like a keyword here, so map. Yeah, okay, cool. If something is like a keyword, like it's a pre-built function or a pre-built like piece of code that does something special, it's gonna show up as this like beautiful bright green. The bright green, in fact, that I think Dora is constructed in, which is gorgeous. Okay, so map, uh, we're gonna start that from zero, zero, of course. And then, um, where should we put it? So this is like the store is going to show up where we tell it to, to kind of show up here. Let's try 60, 60 again. I know we've used that before, but like, let's just take a little look. See here. I'm always saving because I'm, you know, really paranoid. Oh my God. Look at that. We have a store. We have a beautiful store. That's not exactly where I want it, but it, I'm just glad things are like actually showing up. <sighs> but I'm just happy. Okay, so we want her to be in the store, obviously, because she's like working at the store, right? Here's another problem, and this is something we will fix next time, but there's no collision on anything. So like, Dora can just like ghost her way in and out. She's just like, I'm Dora the lesbian frog and also a ghost. Like, hey, check me out. I can come in here. I can just like dance in the walls. Like I could just dance in the walls all day. Uh, and that, that's something she could do. You know, that's a, that's a design choice. You gotta always go with your player experience goals, right? So like, if you don't want walls to mean anything, they don't need to mean anything, uh, which is pretty cool. All right, cool. But let's actually uh, 
move that up. Maybe we'll go to like 12, 12 or something or like 12 and zero. I don't know. Let's try that. Oops, not 120, like 12. <sighs> 12 and like, I don't know, like six. Let's try that, let's try that. <laughs> Waypoint Ghost Jam. Yeah, it did work for Murdered Soul Suspect, a wonderful and underrated game. I agree. All right, the, what? Oh yeah, sorry. I always forget I have to write run. Oh, perfect, so now they're in the store. Like, she's here in the store being like, look at all these beautiful costumes I have. Uh, do you want some costumes? Uh, so I guess we should like put some costumes in the store or else there's nothing really differentiating this from any other type of store or structure or anything in the universe. We could also like put some text on here. Um, that might be cool. Let's put a sign on the store. What do you think? Nice little uh, sign store. Um, okay, here's where we're gonna ask again for a, a cool thing from the audience. What should the name of the store be? Because we're gonna put a sign on it and it's gonna be awesome and that's how you're gonna know what you're looking at. So, all right, friends, give me, hit me with some good ideas here. Hit me, hit me with good ideas. I think I can just like do this as like a print function, right? Like in draw, I guess it's in draw here. I can draw a background and I can just say like print. <laughs> um, and then here, what kind of story? It's a costume store. Um, so, I'm gonna say this, we'll say whatever word, but it can be like the costume store, costume. Whoa, that was an interesting character. Costume with a, instead of a C, it's a cat face. I didn't mean to do that, but that's way better actually. Costume city, cosplace, Dora's digs. Oh my God, all right, cosplace is really good. Oops, oh, it's caps lock, okay. Cosplace. Flesh coverings, it's a store and it got feet. Uh, frog and shop is cute too, I like all of these. What is emoji a programming language? Apparently not, but like if you hit um, uh, caps lock, it'll definitely do this weird awesome thing here. Katsume is good, Katsume is very good. I'm, I'm sticking with cosplays for now, but like, you know, if you got something else, let's do like another few seconds here. Uh, and then I guess I have to figure out what the top coordinates were to draw it. So I draw this, I drew the store at like um, 12 and six. <sighs> I might be over it if I put 12 and six actually, which would be perfect. Cosplace, but the O is cat face. Yeah, yes, you know how I think. Oops, it's a little hard to tell. Okay, so, so regular C and then cosplace with a cat face. All right, if you're, if you're digging this, that makes me happy. Um, cosplays, okay, uh, comma there. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's try 12 and six. So I think that'll write it right above the store. And now we've got to pick a color. I'm gonna pick a color for this uh, cool thing. All right, all right, all right, what, what colors? What colors are we thinking here? Um, maybe this nice red, color eight, that'll really pop. Like if you got a store, you really want it to, uh, to uh, sort of pop out, so. Color eight, save that, and run. Cosplays, look at that. Oh, it's starting to look like a game, look at that. Oh, and yeah, and we don't need walls, we don't need to worry about walls, but like, she knows her girlfriend believes in walls, so she's gonna respect the walls uh, for her. I also hate this brick, I think it looks terrible. Let's, let's do a little adjustment with the brick. And also, I guess we should make the sign like, connect a little better with the, with the store. We can mess with that, we can mess with that. Um, cool, cool, cool. All right. Let's mess with that brick, because that brick, mm, brick doesn't look awesome, you know? So we go to our sprite editor, and then we go back to our brick. It's just like too much, you know? I don't know, maybe these colors are just not working with it or something. Let's try that for our brick. Because I guess the idea is that it's like shining a little bit, like the light is shining in a certain way. Maybe if we did it like one side. Hmm. That doesn't really look right either. Or, we can make it just look like very Mario-y brickies. Yeah, that might just be better, to be honest. Okay, cool. And that should actually update, 
Yeah, see that looks way better. All right, cool, cool, cool. That's why I like this. Nice sprite editor kind of stuff going on. Uh, cool. What if the walls are just stacks of costumes? Cosplay is made of costumes like a blanket fort. I like that too, that's pretty nice. Um, okay, and we hit run. Oh, look at that. Oh, this one a nice costume store. And we can also pretend that like these like brick textures are like, oh, that's where I'm gonna go and actually like buy a costume. All right, <sighs> considering that our characters are just faces, uh, you know, we're going for like a very representational kind of thing going on here, or like a very abstract, like this is the face of the person and they're moving around. It's just like a face moving around, which is cool and okay. Um, costumes. We should fit this beautiful uh, land with costumes and also probably another couple of characters because like, what does it say about this store if the only person who comes to it is the person who owns its girlfriend? That's not like giving you much, right? So let's make a couple more characters. Um, let's take a look at, um, how about like we have somebody, <sighs> give me another animal. Give me another animal, because this is like an Animal Crossing kind of town. Give me, give me an animal for another character. We'll do a couple more characters, and we'll hang, put those in. Bear, first thing I see is a bear. Okay, let's do a bear. Let's do a bear. Let's do a bear. This is a brown bear. Brown bears are known uh, for eating honey and enjoying a nice bath. I don't know, I actually have no idea. That's a cool bear. Uh, let's give this bear like a little like, oh, that's a cute bear. That's a cute little bear. I like that bear, that's a good bear. All right, Bruno the Corgi. Okay, Bruno the Corgi. Bruno the Corgi is gonna look a lot like this bear. So why don't we just call it Bruno the Brown Bear? <laughs> Here we go, Bruno's a brown bear. Um, should we give him like a little like, oh, he's making a face that way. I don't know. He's a happy, he's a happy bear. Bruno's a happy bear. Um, again, I'm seeing a lot. <laughs> People are saying that's a beaver. Look, man, <laughs> we, got a, we only got a few pixels to go with. So you got to use your imagination and make a rainbow with your mind. Okay, cool. Um, let's do a bird. People have been asking for birds. Um, let's have a nice bird. This is Mother Canary, the bird. Oops. It's like a little bird body. And then we've got like little bird um, feet. Oh boy, that doesn't look like a bird, does it? <laughs> I don't think this looks like a bird. <laughs> it's not a bird. Let's try and make it. Oh no, it's a dinosaur. <laughs> it's a pink sheep. That's nice. That's a nice pink sheep. Nice. We tried for a bird. We got a pink sheep. You know, sometimes you don't know what you're, what you're gonna get uh, sometimes in life. So that, that's what we got with that. I'm gonna try another another bird. Um, let's see. Like if we could do like a like a. It was like fluffy bird. Um, it's like a fluffy bird little thing going on here. Oh wait, that, that won't show up. It's like, um, kind of looks like chicken. Maybe if you're not good at chickens. Um, now it looks less like a chicken. What am I looking at? I chicken. Um, doesn't it look a little bit like a chicken? What? <laughs> Where's the beak? Is that the beak at the bottom? No, that's its foot. I thought they were all just faces. Well, we kind of ran into some uh, scale issues um, because clearly the pink, uh, the pink sheep here is not just a face. Right. Uh, this is a face. Most people are faces, but there's a pink sheep as well and, and a weird chicken. Where's the chicken? Um, right here. Where's this the is face? Uh, this is its face, um, and this is its legs, okay. and this is its feather butt, and this is its like top feathers. Um, yeah, 
This is why you hired me, right, mm -hmm. Austin, for my artistic skill? Yeah. Uh, I guess we can do this. We can make the scale different. That's a thing. Or oh, the brush size. That's what that is. Oh, that's useful. This is how to make it. Okay, so we could. Oh. We could do this. Oh, yeah, more detail. You could. Uh, this is a little bit more my speed. Is the reason why I stick with the like 64 by 64, or whatever it is, bipedal chicken. All right, look. You know what? If you're not happy with my chicken, it's fine. Because uh, we. Thank you, chicken, for your service. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, okay, all right. <sighs> ready? Are you ready to construct a beautiful bird? Okay, I think you are. I think we all are. This is a bird of paradise. We begin with the bird's beautiful face. And uh, this is the bird's beautiful face. It's kind of a side bird, uh, if you will. Like a nice side bird face. Okay, ready? Ready? It's gonna have, like this is the beak. I guess that'll be the eye right here. Okay. Bird face, right there. It's, it's you know, very, um, that's a bird face. That to me says bird face. Um, there we go. Remember perspective. You're right. Uh, uh, <laughs> you're correct and you're right. However, I'm not good at it. So uh, we've got a few more characters and uh, now let's make like a costume. We, I think we can handle a good costume um, for sure. Okay, well, as, as with all costumes, the first thing to remember is uh, you gotta really get like in profile of the character that you are, uh, the costume is coming from, right? Like, what are some attributes about their life? What is going on internally? What do they do for a living? What kind of, you know, not just what clothes they wear, but what kind of life they lead? What kind of personality they have? I'm not trying to say your clothes are your personality, but like, we're talking about costume design here. Clearly something I know so much about. Um, anyway, what kind of game are we making? That's, that's the beauty of this. I have no idea. Um, I am just starting out. We're gonna make it together though. That's what makes it fun. All right, friends, give me a costume that I can do any kind of justice to in this uh, format. I mean, they, this is a costume here. Like, uh, it could a be wedding a wedding dress. Perfect. I'm learning so much more watching this than I would be doing my CS assignment. Oh, that makes me feel great. All right, um, okay, we're gonna do a wedding dress. This is a wedding dress. I want a nurse outfit, a ghost. Okay, the ghost, we're gonna have to remember that one too because the ghost I might be able to actually kind of do. All right, here is what a dress looks like, okay? As a person who wears so many dresses all of the time, uh, constantly in her life. Okay, that's, uh, and then like uh, right here, right here, right here, right here. And then like, uh, it's got cleavage on it. You know what I mean? Like this is a sexy wedding dress right here. This is a sexy wedding dress with a little bit of cleavage. Look at that, now that looks like a wedding dress. You look at that and you think, Wedding, who's getting married, who do I say congratulations to? All right, I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy. All right, uh, Ghost was also another one. Uh, that, that's a good one, because, you know, that's about my speed. Okay, here. Copy the last one, just put a face on it. Copy the, oh. The wedding dress. <laughs> just put a face on it. I like that idea. That is actually another character. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, wedding, uh, wedding girl. That's a character. <laughs> or wedding, or wedding boy. It could be wedding boy in a dress. That's fine. <laughs> oh no! All right, so here's the ghost, because it's like, oh, boo! There we go. Ghost costume. Oh yes, yeah. so it's a little ghost costume. You put the sheet on. Nobody knows it's you. You say boo. It's really nice. Um, it's real good. Uh, it might be, or it might be Halloween like every day in this world. Um, but we can make it Halloween. It's Halloween. Let's just say it's Halloween. Oh, those might be animation frames. Yeah, you're right. They might be. <laughs> Is this animation frames? Select shortcut. Snap from clipboard. What's this? Pan. 
fill. Oh yeah, you can like quickly fill the color. So we've got a lot of good shit in here now. Let's uh, let's draw some of it in. Uh, so this is sprite number. Oh, shit. Sprite. Tell me your sprite number. Oh god, tell me your sprite number. Well, whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, eight. Oh my god, it's right here. I'm doing good. I'm really doing good. Ghosts are all cleavage if you think about it. Says Delarat. That's a good point. All right, so let's make like a beautiful, um, you know, like a really lovely. So that's what our character is. I wish I could comment code. I'm sure you probably can. Uh, but I, when I'm actually doing like any kind of, not like I do a high end game dev, but when I make like my little things, I like to comment everything because I go back to it after six months and I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? And then I can see and be like, oh my God, that's what the hell I was thinking. And it's really helpful uh, in life. Okay. so. I'm gonna draw a sprite. Uh, let's do eight because that's the uh, that's the ghost. Uh, I feel like the ghost deserves some some good good placement in the store, especially during Halloween season. Uh, Axel Rosa really wants to like you know show off her beautiful wares, uh, including that beautiful ghost costume. So that's sprite eight, and uh, let's put it in around. I don't know. Let's put it in around like 32, 32. That'll be right in the middle of the store, I think, and that'll really just that'll get customers uh, just moving and shaking, you know? Oh, it's really nice. It's, it's actually kind of on the back wall there. Uh, and I think maybe we should actually kind of move it over more to the right. So it's like, this is kind of like, I'm thinking, um, sorry, of course I can move my character. This is a game. This is not just a piece of art. This is interactive entertainment. We can clearly move the character here. Um, it's cool that there's transparency too. I'm just sort of looking at that. It's like, oh yeah, if I move her here, you can still see that pink. That's cute. That's good. It looks like she's like sticking her tongue out if you put her in a certain place. Like, look at me, haha. It's cute. Okay. Um, this is like the, the entrance, right? Like, of this beautiful, great store uh, of uh, cosplays. <clears throat> so yeah, let's move the ghost over a little bit. So the x coordinate is going to be higher in that case. So, uh, so thirty-two, thirty-two. Let's do thirty-two and like, uh, like. 80, and we'll see how close we get with that. Run. Whoa. I forgot. It's a, it's a different uh, a different thing. It's a different thing. Close, though. We're close. We're close in life. Although, although, this can be a happy accident. We can say that, like, this ghost is haunting the store at this point. It's not like a costume, it's a ghost. But no, it's cool, let's, let's make it a costume. We already, we're already invested in the fiction, right? I know I am, I don't know if you are. Uh, so I guess it's Y and X, which is funny. Uh, so anyway, 32 is appropriate for there, but then let's try 80 here. All right, cool, cool, cool. Look at that, that's a prominent place in the store. So you can say like, you can go over here and be like, oh my God, this is such a beautiful costume. And since we don't have, uh, you know, like any collision rules, you can just be like, I'm trying on this costume. Boom, I have become the ghost. Like really, like she's become the ghost at this point, which I think is really deep. Um, we're definitely making like a really deep game here. And she can be like, baby, I really like your ghost costume. You did such a beautiful job with that. I can't even believe your artistic skills. How much is it? And then they can they can talk about that, of course. Uh, they can negotiate that within their relationship. Maybe it's a gift, you know? Maybe she wants to go as a ghost, and it's a gift. Let's put some of the other costumes and uh, cool characters in here as well. So who else did we have? We had the bear. The bear was good. Uh, Bruno the bear uh, was definitely in there. All right, let's put Bruno just kind of hanging out. Bruno's, oh, sorry, I forgot. I, I need, Bruno's number four. Bruno should be hanging out somewhere in the store, I think. So, uh, uh, Bruno is number four, and Bruno is definitely hanging out around, like, let's say Bruno's at, like, uh, 75 and, like, 30-ish. That should be fine. Cool, 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 cool. There's Bruno. Bruno's, like, checking out that costume quite a bit. Bruno's also a lot smaller than Dora, which is interesting. There's definitely something going on there. Uh, but he's really interested in that ghost costume. I guess he could be like a ghost bear, and that could be like his thing in life, you know. All right. All right, cosplay is starting to like really look nice. Now, we could also compose a song 
I'm not going to subject you to that today because that would be horrible. Uh, I'm going to keep going with uh, sort of decorating the store for the next couple minutes. And then I don't know when we actually are done. Uh, I guess let's say around 5. We started around 4. We have what? 5 is in 8 minutes. 5 is in 8 minutes. That's, that sounds about right. We would decorate the store, you know, start feeling good about it. And then, yeah, I'm happy with that. Or we could, or we could get ambitious and, and do other stuff too. I don't know. Um, sprites. Let's look at our other sprites here. Uh, our bird. Our bird. Our beautiful bird. Um, we should, maybe the beautiful bird should be outside, because I'm not really quite as proud of that bird as, uh, as some of the other things we've drawn today. Uh, bird is number six, which is ridiculous, because six is my lacrosse number, so I hold it in high esteem. But our bird, uh, you know, for whatever reason, she didn't quite, you know, come together all the way. So that's okay, too. Uh, 56 and 91, 90, let's see uh, where that puts her. Okay. Run. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. She's outside the store kind of looking in. Uh, she's kind of like, I don't know about this store. I have had issues with this store in the past. I used to look like a bird, and now I look like this. Uh, because of this store, she's got issues. She's, she's got some problems going on with the store. Uh, but that's okay. That's also okay. Uh, let's, let's bring in, I think uh, it was our pink sheep as well. We also had a nice pink sheep. Let's take a look. Uh, where was our pink sheep? Our beautiful pink sheep. Oh yeah, the wedding dress too, of course the wedding dress. Let's, let's introduce a key element of our narrative here, which is the wedding dress. Now I feel like the wedding dress should be something that like sparks conversation between uh, Axel Rosa and Dora. I feel like maybe Axel Rosa would like to pop the question to Dora and maybe Dora is feeling, I don't know, maybe she's not sure. She is a frog, maybe she has cold feet. That, that is a thing that happens. Uh, so let's bring in our beautiful wedding dress, and that can be like something we interact with uh, when we get a little bit more, uh, you know, ambitious. Oops, I'm trying to write too much of the word here. And uh, costume mishap. <laughs> it's just not the bird's right angle. Yeah, you're right, it's not the bird's right angle. Okay, so sorry, this is number seven. Okay, sprite seven. Oh boy. And let's bring that in at like 30. And like 26 or so. Okay. Oh yeah. Gotta bring that in a little bit more prominently for sure. But this should be something like, oh my god, like when we interact with this, when we start thinking about where this game can go, really, when we get a little bit more ambitious about it. Because right now we're just we just have a bunch of dressing, a bunch of characters uh, in these terrible bricks. And a sign, I mean, the sign's pretty nice. I do like the sign. The sign's maybe my favorite part, other than some of these characters. Um, we gotta think about, like, modes of interaction. Because right now, the only interaction we have with this game is just moving around the world as Dora. We could probably even do something like changing characters. This might be the kind of thing where maybe you're Dora for part of it, and then you're Axel Rosa for part of it. And they go through separate narratives, like, in different scenes. That could be a thing that happens. Or, or even simpler than that, even if you don't need to go through different scenes, you can just change the characters in the scene and they interact differently with different objects. That could be fun. I don't know. Let's see. All right, uh, let's move that dress over just a little bit to make it a little bit more prominent in the scene because it is such a, an important part here, of course. Okay, so it was Y and X for some reason, I think, which is a little weird, but okay, let's do 41 and 26 and run. Yeah, there we go. Cool, cool. So yeah, that dress, which looks more and more like a dress every time I look at it, um, that should be a thing. That should really be like a thing that we interact with. So we can like go up here, talk to Bruno. Bruno can maybe make reference to his favorite ghost costume here. We can go over the dress and be like, oh no, I should, I should have feelings about this dress. Is it a little weird that the dress is the same size, actually smaller than Dora's face? Yes. It is a little weird, uh, but we're not going for realism here. We are going for uh, emotion. We are going for true feeling. Uh, we're going for love, really. Uh, this game is about love. It's a game about love. I've decided that it's a game about love. All right, cool. We had one more thing, and I think it was our pink uh, sheep, right? Our pink sheep in here. We're not ignoring anybody else in here, right? Even our terrible bird got in. So, okay, pink sheep was number five. 
Maybe the pink sheep is actually how Dora got here. So it's like parked in the parking lot or something like that. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. And maybe we should make a parking lot. Like really build out the scene a little bit here. Um, I like that. I like that idea of building out like a parking lot. Okay, uh, let's draw in our buddy and then that can be like the frame of where the parking lot is. And people come in on their horses, they come in in their helicopters and their submarines um, and they come to cosplays where they find the, the best uh, and most beautiful uh, costumes. All right, Sprite, God, I forget every time. I look over and look and I forget every time it's five. Okay, Sprite five. All right, and that's gonna be a little bit below other stuff because I think the parking lot should be in sort of the foreground area. And then of course, dominating the frame is our store itself, cross place. <clears throat> okay, so it's gonna be below. Y and then X. So this should be like 80 something maybe. And then like, I don't know, 67. Let's see what, how that looks. All right, ready? Run. Oh, weird. It blended right into the brick. That's, oh, that's not what you want. That's, that's not what you want at all. All right, we'll put it in like the one hundreds ish or like maybe like right around one one. Let's call it, oops, we don't have that many. <sighs> 100, 101, that's, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Okay, I'm gonna say run. Oh boy, yeah, no, that's not quite what we wanted either. That is X and Y. So I have been mistaken. 101, no, not 101, 17. Uh, let's do like, 61. Yeah, there you go. And run. Whoa! Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, we lost a comma there. It created a syntax error. There we go, and that's the parking lot. And now we have our bird uh, lurking outside the store uh, next to our pink sheep, which is how Dora got here. Dora rides on the pink sheep, it's kind of her thing. Oh, that's weird. So Dora's actually, un yeah, that's right. The player is drawn underneath this stuff because we're calling the player first. Cool stuff, cool stuff. All right. We've got a store, it's called Cosplays. We've got a character who can move around. We have quite a bit of narrative elements uh, here, including uh, a wedding dress that we can make some commentary on. Uh, we have a girlfriend who is an axolotl. Uh, I think I said that right, axolotl. Um, we have Bruno the bear, uh, who's really into ghosts. Uh, and then we have the creepy bird. Now, we might want some like backstory on the creepy bird, like the creepy bird is jealous of the love between uh, Dora and, and Axel. Rosa, it's a possibility. I don't know if I'm gonna go that route though. That seems a little cliched, to be honest with you. And this, not, there's not much about this game so far that's cliched, I don't think. I mean, this might be the first game about the love between uh, a frog and an axolotl uh, that I've ever made. Anyway, uh, so maybe a creepy bird is just like their friend and she has some space issues. Like she doesn't really, you know, she shows up to her friend's work all the time and she's kind of there and she's like, you want to get coffee? And Axel Rosa is like, no, I really, I got to work right now. Like I got to sell all these costumes. I got to hustle for my money. And the bird is just kind of like, okay, but I want coffee. So there's an issue there. You know, friendships can be difficult. Friendships can be weird. Love is complicated. You know, it's a lot, it's a lot going on. All right, I feel good about the progress we made here today. Uh, I feel good about it. I don't know, room, room of my colleagues. Are you feeling good? Are you feeling good about this? All right, um, cool, cool. I'm pretty happy about this. We will probably make a little bit more of this because of course we wanna get into things like cool interactions and actually telling a story. Uh, I will tell you this right now. I don't think I'm ever gonna make anything uh, even remotely ambitious during this stream because a lot of this is just sort of like learning new tools and playing with them and just having fun and making audience interaction a big part of it and having fun with you all, which I think is fun. You let me know. You let me know if you're enjoying this. Um, and of course, uh, 
we'll probably play with other tools and other things. Uh, we might make like a little platformer or a little RPG. Either. This might be just like one of those like little tiny, it's you know three minutes long and it's a story game and we interact with different things and that's how it tells the story. Um, there is a lot you can do with Pico 8. I, I've seen folks talk about making like a No Man's Sky demake in Pico 8, which is amazing, like using a lot of procedural stuff. Um, so there are, even though it's like a very limited tool set in terms of, uh, you know, you don't start with much, there's a lot you can do, which is pretty cool. And it is Lua, I believe. Uh, and there is a lot of really cool tutorials uh, out there. Again, thank you to somebody who doesn't know me, but uh, Uncle Matt, uh, his YouTube tutorials have been very helpful uh, to me, even just at this very baby level of just, you know, getting in and getting your hands dirty and messing with stuff and making a beautiful thing like Cosplace, Andorra the Lesbian Frog. So, okay, let's do this from memory. Okay, I'm Danielle, you can find me at Danielle Arai. You can find everything Waypoint does on Twitch, right here, of course. Uh, you can also find it on YouTube, uh, which is Waypoint Vice on YouTube. On Twitch, on Twitter, not Twitch, we are Waypoint. On Facebook, we are Waypoint Vice. You can find everything we write on waypoint.vice.com. Thank you so much for being here and being creative with me. I'm going to hope to do this on Fridays relatively regularly. Thank you again. Have a great day and be good and be good at it.